guys, welcome back to Gotta Have Toys. Today we're going to do another series on our Bob the Builder video talking about all of our construction equipment, all the different utensils, all the tools that we use when we're building things. We're going to go over these again and we're going to talk in detail about each one of them. Now, Bob the Builder's not here today, but I know he'll be back soon. That would be his hat right there. His hat, he's actually out right now, but when he gets back, we'll do another show. We've had a lot of feedback from everybody wanting to know a little bit more about our tools. So today we are going to get into detail and talk about each and every one of these awesome, awesome tools and then talk about what they do. So stick around. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're ready to go. We're going to pick up our first tool and we're going to talk about what we can do with each one of them. This is a socket wrench. Socket wrenches are perfect when you've got certain types of lug nuts that this little octagon shape will actually sit on. So what you do is you take that and you put that right on top of, for instance, one of these. We'll get a smaller one here. Here we go. So this one is a socket that fits right on top of this screw. See, this screw actually can do two different two ways you can tighten it. You can use a Phillips screwdriver on the top, or you can use the socket wrench, and you put it right on top of that one there, and you just turn it around. And you can tighten it no matter where you use it. So let's just let's do an example. Let's show you exactly how this works. Let's see if we can find the right size. Okay. So you have your wood, right? And you drill a hole inside of your wood. Once you've got the hole there, you want to use a screw, and it's got to fit inside there perfectly. So we put that on top. We start it a little bit there with our hands. You can see it coming through the bottom right there. It's already coming through. Then you take your socket wrench, you put it on top, and you turn that around. And you keep tightening that until it goes all the way down. That's how that works. I won't go all the way with that, it'll take a little too much time, but we'll go ahead and screw it down with our hands so you can see once you've used that socket wrench and you tighten that up, it goes all the way through. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. So we've got that. That's our socket wrench and it's got two sides. And most socket wrenches will have different sizes. One will be a large and one will be a small size. So it'll fit different sizes. Next up we have, we're going to show you the vise. This is an adjustable vise. See that there? Looks like it's the letter C, right? So this can be clamped to two pieces of wood. So let's say that you've got two pieces of wood and you want to take these two and you want to secure these two pieces of wood, right? So you put them together, put it on top like that. Then you take your vise, you put it on top of the wood, just like that. And then you tighten it from the bottom up. So as we, this is a little tricky when I don't have my helper, when Bob the Builder is not here, it's a little tricky. But we tighten it up. Okay, we straighten out the wood. Make sure that it's, there we go. All right, so you want to keep these two pieces of wood together while you're putting a screw in there. Then you use a vise. This is like a clamp, a C-clamp, it's also called. A lot of people call them a different names, but it's a really a vise. You keep twisting this and you tighten that up. See, and that holds those two pieces of wood perfectly together. So then you can drill and put whole screws, all, all kinds of good stuff. Then you can loosen it up when you're done, and then you can take the wood apart. So those are called uh, vices or C-clamps. Sometimes people call them C-clamps because, again, they look like the letter C. Very cool, very cool tool. That one's nice. So we also have, we have our Phillips screwdriver, right? One is called Phillips. That's the one that has the four heads, four tips. You see that? It's got one, two, three, four. It's a Phillips screwdriver, and then we have a flathead. It's kind of a funny name, flathead, but it's actually just flat. 
So what we use these for are different types of screws. Some screws, put that down over there, come with the Phillips head. See, we showed this earlier. That's a Phillips head. So we take the Phillips, we put that inside, that fits inside those four sides, and then you can just screw that down. You can screw that right into the wood. See that? Four sides. It's called a Phillips. Fits inside there. Now, sometimes certain screws will have a flat head. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So this one has kind of a flat head on the top. If you see that right there? Straight across. Okay, so we take our flathead screwdriver and that goes right on top of that and then you can screw that into the wood because it has that flat line straight across and we use a flathead. All right, so that's a that's the first couple of, of pieces of equipment that we're gonna talk about today. And we're gonna do another video and I'll show you another one in a couple of minutes. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and remember Bob the Builder will be back today. I'll have him back here on the show and we'll do another one.